So let's have a discussion on unity planting vegetation. And specifically, this is going to be theory around unity planning. So using the native free unity tools versus VS Pro, which is a pay tool. Um, so comparing the two, at this point in your project, you need to make a decision um, whether you're going to move forward with the free unity planning tools or you're going to make an investment into the VS Pro planting uh, software. Uh, if, if this is going to be your only course um, and you don't intend on getting it published for other GS Pro subscribers to use, you can probably get away with the Unity planning. Uh, there's some things you need to know. Um, first of all, the Unity planning tool, it's simple. Um, you plant one tree type at a time. Now you can plant multiple trees at once, but it is the same kind of tree, like an oak tree. So you're gonna plant a bunch of oak trees. Um, and it's, it's, not, it, it's slower than VS Pro um, because of that, because you can only plant one tree type at a time. Um, it's a little crude as far as moving around and planting. You just kind of click and there they sit. You can't get into what we call rules painting, which you can do in VS Pro. But it is precise um, because you're planting, you know, just groups of trees at a time. You click and the tree goes exactly where you want it. Um, but you can't uh, make up rules. And you'll understand that if you watch the VS Pro section. The other thing is it's, it's a little bit lower performance. VS Pro does a really good job of optimizing vegetation and allows you to tweak a lot of the settings in your vegetation so that you can you know, look at your performance. And if your frames per second is not good, you can tweak things like LODs and you can treat rendering distances and colliders and you can do a lot of uh, adjustments in there um, to get it working but you can't do that in unity unity is um, it's a little bit more crude from that perspective so you have a will have a harder time with performance but the unity playing tool is free and that's one of the main reasons we still include it at these videos because we want you know people if they don't want to spend a cent to do to make a course then uh, this is the way you're going to do it on the other hand, we got VS Pro planting, which is, it's more complex. But it, the reason it's more complex is there's just a lot more nerd knobs. Uh, we, you can just tweak just about anything. I would say we're only using probably 40% of its capabilities because the other 60% either we don't know about it yet or it's just uh, something we don't use. It's a it's really good software. It's much faster. You can, instead of just planting one tree type at a time, we have this concept called biomes where you put everything, all, all the different types of grasses and bushes and plants and trees into a biome, and you just tell you know VS Pro where to plant that stuff using various types of rules, and boom, everything just, we call it spawning, everything just kind of all of a sudden is there. And so you can do a very large area at once and bang, all of a sudden everything's just there according to the rules and, and, and how you, you know envision that area to look like. Um, planting individual trees is, it's not challenging. You can certainly do it in VS Pro, but it's uh, it's it's actually uh, it's a little bit easier to tweak individual trees inside of the Unity planning. Um, but it can be done in VS Pro. It's called persistent storage and persistent planning, and we'll talk about that uh, as part of the VS Pro tutorials. But it's it's hard once you plant something in VS Pro. It's a little bit goofy to go back and move it and delete it. That's kind of, I would say that's one of the shortcomings of VS Pro is individual planting, but certainly can be done. It is, I talked about this, it's high performance. If, if you want to build a course nowadays that's going to get published in GS Pro, it's pretty much a given you're going to have to use GS, VS Pro because uh, in order to plant the density and have the blending and the adjustments to have a good looking, good performing course, you really need VS Pro these days. Um, it does cost $150, but that's when it's not on sale. Um, when it is on sale, sometimes it drops to like 50 bucks. Um, so it's still not cheap. Uh, keep in mind that when you buy, if you want to do Unity planning, you want to wait for VS Pro to go on sale, you can do Unity planning, and then you can actually port or import those plants into VS Pro later on. There's a process to do that. Um, I don't know if it's going to get added later on to the tutorials. It's definitely, it's more of an advanced topic that's in the Discord channels, um, but that can be done. So if you want to do Unity planning today and wait for VS Pro to go on sale, later on you can import those into VS Pro and then use VS Pro to render your, your plants. So that is, that is an option. 
Um, but just be aware there's going to be an extra step there with, with how you import those plants into VS Pro.